It was a final send-off for a man befitting Professor Mazrui's teacher. Hundreds of mourners, including political leaders from across the divide, government officials, academicians, as well as several ambassadors paid the last respects. The body of the late scholar was taken to the Mbaruk Mosque for prayers. From here, the briar was carried by mourners along the Ndiaku Street, then to the 900-year-old Mazuri family graveyard opposite Fort Jesus, where he was laid to rest shortly after 11 a.m. Until his death, Professor Mazuri had authored close to 30 books, including numerous articles, debates and interviews. He actually came to this window, shouting. One of his most known works include the documentary entitled Triple Heritage in the 1980s, which examined the influence of Islam, the Western, as well as the African traditions in shaping the mind of the African. He was the Chancellor of the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology up until 2009 when he resigned. For Uganda, we take Mazuri as the grandfather of education. I, I, unless I'm challenged otherwise, we don't have an equivalent. Reflections, Professor. More tributes would come in during Mazuri's memorial at the Aga Khan Academy later in the day. We are all bereaved by this loss and console ourselves by the towering intellectual legacy he has bequeathed upon us. His Nigerian-born wife, Pauline Uti Mazrui, terming him as a humble man who never forgot home. I don't think a week passes that I will, Ali will not say something to remind him that he's a boy from Mombasa. At some point in life, the late Mazuri was at loggerheads with the regimes of retired Kenya President Daniel Arap Moi and the late Idi Amin Dada of Uganda. This nature of not tolerating intellectuals who challenge the status quo has been heavily criticized. We are punished, thought by ex uh, exiling them. And these free thinkers have succeeded in shaming us by their sheer excellence in the foreign lands. We banished them too. We rejected the intellectual confidence of Barack Obama and now he has produced the first black American president. We exiled Professor Nyang Nyongo to Mexico. Now he has given us the first African Oscar winner. We have exiled Ngugi Wa Thiongo. Now he is in the top running for the Nobel Prize for Literature. Professor Ali Mazri was born right here in Mombasa 81 years ago and for over 50 years he helped shape the African studies as well as a critical examination of the history of Africa as well as the present circumstances of the continent. Today, all town residents celebrate a life of one of their own who they say that the gap that is left will be difficult to fill. Peter Mwangangi, NTV, at the Mazri family graveyard in Mombasa.